scientists have said that a huge earthquake is going to hit the southern San Andreas Fault, but revealed that we don't know when this is going to happen, but said it could be any time now. A fault line is basically a large crack in the earth, with the San Andreas Fault line being a stroke slip fault. This event occurs when two tectonic plates slide past each other. Experts in California have said it's around 80 years overdue for the big one, which is the name that they've given to a massive earthquake that they said would devastate the area. The recent earthquake activity hasn't given scientists much hope either, with them noting that although the low tremors that hit Southern California back in June didn't do much damage, the big one would be an entirely different story, saying that the cost of damage could easily go to around 200 to 250 billion dollars, and that thousands of people could lose their life. The US Geological Survey has reported there's a 20 to 35% chance of the big one happening, with experts saying this would be around 7.5 to 8.5 in magnitude. USGS researchers have been studying the areas that would be at risk, and say that many factors play into this in regards to which areas would be affected the most. New estimations have also revealed that the big one may be even higher than 8 in magnitude. The area has been hit by a big earthquake in the past, with the last big one happening back in 1906, which was recorded as being a 7.9 magnitude earthquake, and that actually ended up moving the fault by 300 miles. 3,000 people lost their lives, and it's since become known as one of the worst earthquakes of all time. Over 80% of San Francisco had been destroyed, and large fires broke out that went on for days. One of the problems that scientists face is trying to predict when these large earthquakes are going to happen, with San Jose State University geologist Kimberly Blusnick saying the following, The San Andreas Fault is one of the best studied faults in the world, and there's still so much we can do. End quote. Back in 2019, researchers working in California reported that two large earthquakes had hit the region. They measured in at 6.4 and 7.1 in magnitude, and said that this raised the chances of the big one happening, saying that although it doesn't increase it by much, it could have increased the chances of it happening by 1-2% to within the next few years. John Vidal, a professor of earth science, said the following about the big one, and how it could devastate California. Here in California, you have dangers from a number of different kinds of earthquakes. The major danger is from the earthquakes on the San Andreas Fault System. We haven't had a big earthquake in Southern California really since 1857, so basically we're overdue one. It's moving the ground several yards over an area of 50 square miles, so the power of a magnitude 7.8 earthquake is probably close to the power used in the whole state for a year. Basically something that we as a civilization have trouble creating. Sort of like a nuclear explosion. People have this idea of running out of bed and out of their buildings. And that's a terrible idea. Because a lot of what we see in earthquakes is people with broken legs. And people who've run through glass. The best thing to do like we always say is duck cover and hold. Get under some piece of furniture. The main point is to protect your head and chest. Because the San Andreas will produce the kind of long period of shaking which would be very damaging to very tall buildings, say in downtown LA, Century City and Long Beach, and so forth. Older steel buildings, the connections in them have not necessarily been designed to withstand the maximum forces that can actually be generated. End quote. Seismic expert Dr. Genneth Hudnut said the following. What's next is a really tough problem for us, but it's actually what everybody wants to know. But just because we can create a plausible scenario, does not mean it's going to happen. Seth Steen of Northwestern University said the following. The trouble is the uncertainties on all the numbers in this sequence are huge, and you're cascading those all together. Seismologist Dr. Lucy Jones said the following on social media. I'm surprised we haven't had it yet. We average 150 years between San Andreas events, and it's been 350 on the southernmost part, 
but we could actually go another 50 or more. The time between big quakes seems to be Poissonian. That means that the time since the last quake doesn't matter. One person asked whether we could get two big ones a matter of weeks apart, and she responded with the following. Absolutely. This graph is the time between big quakes at one location on the San Andreas Fault. The average is 100 years, but three times it was less than 50, and once more than 300. If they were one week apart, they would look like one event in the geology. End quote. The United States Geological Survey said the following about the 1906 earthquake. The San Francisco earthquake and fire of April 18th, 1906 took around 700 lives and caused millions of dollars worth of damage in California. The earthquake was felt as far away as Oregon and central Nevada. The 1906 earthquake has been estimated at a magnitude 8.3 on the richer scale. Surface offsets occurred along a 250 mile length of the fault. On May 18th, 1940, an earthquake magnitude of 7.1 occurred along a previously unrecognized fault in the Imperial Valley. Similar movement on the Imperial Fault occurred during an earthquake in November 1979. The greatest surface displacement was 17 feet of right lateral stroke slip in the 1940 earthquake. Clearly, this fault is part of the San Andreas system. Other earthquakes of probable magnitudes of 7 or larger occurred on the Hayward Fault in 1836 and 1868 on the San Andreas Fault in 1838. End quote. As of right now, researchers have said that all they can do is keep an eye on any changes on the data, but I always end by saying that the big one is going to happen. It's just when. So what do you make of these announcements? And do you think the big one will occur within your lifetime? Be sure to leave your questions and answers in the comment section below and help us to grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.